So she saw one of these on Pinterest and said, make it for me. And you said, sure. You're going to need about 20 horseshoes. If they're used, you're going to need to get out your anvil and your hammer and straighten them out. The ones we're using today are new, so we don't really have to do this. We're just showing you how. Lay out five of them, make the bottom row of your tree, get a trusty straight edge, and line them up as best you can. Get out your welder, 532nd 6013 rod on about 90 amps on your arc welder, and weld them together. Turn it over and weld the other side, starting with the coldest weld first. Seems to make them straight. Once you got that done, throw them on the floor. Then go ahead and get out or make a row of four. Get them all lined up, get out your welder and weld them together. Flip them over and weld the other side. And throw them on the floor. Then a row of three, get them straight, weld them together, flip them over, weld the other side, and throw them on the floor. That's how that works. All right, now a row of two. Get them all lined up, weld them together, flip them over, weld the other side, and throw them on the floor. Now, get rid of your straight edge. We're all done with that. Get out your trusty chalk. Get the row of five. Get the row of four. And here's the secret. Overlap them just a little bit so that all of the tips overlap with the row beneath them. This is especially important if you're using used horseshoes. Measure from the horseshoe to the bottom of the bottom row just to make sure you got them as straight as you can possibly get them. Hold everything in place, take your trusty chalk, and mark cut lines on the tips of the horseshoes. Stick them in the vise. Get out your trusty four and a half inch grinder with a cutoff wheel, and cut the cut marks that you made. Lay them back down. Look how nice they fit together. And weld them all together. I made a mistake here, I didn't do something I should have. Weld the outside two first, and then work your way to the middle, turn them over, weld the other side. Perfect. Now the next row, same drill. Mark them. Cut them. Line them up and weld them. Start from the outside, work your way in. Perfect. Turn them over and do the other side. Now we're doing the row of two. Overlap, mark with your chalk, cut the tips off, line them up, weld them together. Turn it over, weld the other side. And there you go. Put the top one on, mark it, cut it, line it up, weld it, turn it over and weld the other side, and that's that. Got a tree. Good job. Now's the other secret. Get out your trusty hammer and hit the high spots. It's going to be a little bit concave. Somehow the welding makes it shaped like that. Turns out that uh, this stuff is pretty soft, and um, just a few blows with the hammer will get it all straightened out so it's nice and flat. One more just right there. Yep, that did it right there. That last one was important. So now it's all nice and flat. We're going to build a base. Start with a pair of horseshoes. Put them like that. We're going to take a third horseshoe and we're going to cut the tips off so that the ends are nice and flat. We're going to line it up. We're going to get our trusty magnet to hold it in place. How did we weld? <clears throat> How did we weld before we had magnets? Weld it all together. Turn it over and weld the other side. And there we go. Grab another may another horseshoe. Excuse me. Get your head out of the way so people can see. And get it all lined up. 
and weld it in place. Then turn it around and add the last horseshoe to the base. All of this is going to make a kind of a concave deal where all the tips point up. And uh, so we're going to take our trusty hammer. We're going to hang the edge, the tips over the edge of the table, and we're going to tap them a few times until the base sits nice and solid. Yeah, we're happy with that. Now take the base, line it up with the edge of the table, take the tree, line the bottom of the tree up with the edge of the table, get everything all arranged and weld it together, turn it over and weld the other side. Stand it up and see how straight it is. Oh, of course, it leans back a little bit. Lay it down with the high side up. I put the rod underneath the base, tap it a few times, stand it back up, see if we're happy. Oh yeah, perfect. Looks good. All right, last step. Lock it down to the table. Get out your trusty four and a half inch grinder with a wire wheel on it and polish this up. We're just trying to get the slag and the discoloration off the horseshoes. We don't really want to polish it till it's shiny. We just want to clean it up a little bit. Turn it over and do the other side. Perfect. All righty. Now stand it up, do the base. And hey, we're done. Looks good. Merry Christmas and thanks for watching.